Well, for what it's worth, I think you're being brilliant. Ryan's head must be all over the place. It is. Yours wouldn't be. Which is why I feel awful about what I said. It was pretty harsh, I suppose. I didn't mean... I don't pity him. I... I feel for him. And I care about what happens to him. And before you say anything, I know, it can't all fall to me. And Carla and Peter are back soon anyway, so... Hey. Come here. You've been amazing. Ryan couldn't have asked for a better friend. Of course, now she's panicking that her clothes are not nice enough. And I said, look, it'll just be smart casual. Not that I know what that means. I know this. A shirt, not a T-shirt, no tie and a crease in your jeans. Brilliant. Dead helpful, that, mate. If she was a fella. Oh, yeah. Well, then, maybe she should just model herself on Carla or Sarah. Right, whatever you do, don't say that to Fizz. She's nervous enough as it is. And I said to her, well, you look good in whatever you wear. I reckon you two are going to be doing a fair bit of phoning, then. I hope so. How about the kids and that? Oh, yeah, yeah, kids and that, yeah. Where is she? She's upstairs. How were they? Ah, uh, well, Ruby was asking a lot of questions, but then that's understandable, isn't it? Yeah. And what about Hope? Hope? Oh, she was fine. She just saw her mates and ran off. There you go, it's all good. It's all the factory lot to face. What are you talking about? They'll be made up for her. Not if I know Beth. Don't go getting her worked up about anything his wife says. Partner? Oh, ex-partner. But Evelyn's right. She's totally gonna smash it. Yeah, and if she does smash it in Norwich, you never know when she comes back. They might offer a supervisor here. Might. I should think they would, after making her live away from home for months in that place. What are you talking about? It's great. It's like dead historical and that. Yeah, so is Pisa, and all they've got is one tower put up by a dodgy builder. Why are you standing there with that thing like that? Why don't you go up and help her down with the luggage? Sorry, you need to talk to Max again. Well, the one thing I don't want to do is make things worse for him. But you can't just do nothing. <sighs> damned if I do, damned if I don't. Ah, uh, you'll think of something. There you go. Oh, is that the time? I can't imagine what it must be like in that place for someone Max's age. Horrible, I know. I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. I fully understand your predicament. Sense of book coming. But... Max needs to know he's not alone there, that you want to help. Yeah, but I'm not going to be helping him, am I, if I'm seen speaking to him? Well, we both know that young men often bottle things up and get overwhelmed with the situation, with disastrous results. Oh, great. There must be a way to let him know he's not alone in that place. There has to be. Jenny wants me to do a stock take. Great. Spending two hours down at pub cellar is not an idea of a good time, let me tell you. Oh, those walls could talk. Yeah, I bet. Right, love you. And you, Ken. So, what happened then? One minute you were going to get a snacks and... Well, I did message you. <laughs> yeah, to tell me that you were tired and you just wanted your bed. I mean, it was all a bit sudden. I was worried about you. I'm sorry. So? It's gonna sound weird, but I saw Aaron kissing this random girl in the gardens. Oh. Just threw me. Yeah, of course. What, and, and you didn't know her? No, no, never seen her before. She was um, tall, like slim. She had like long brown hair with like blonde bits in it, but. Actually, do you know what? That sounds a bit like Mia, Aaron's ex. Really? Yeah, that's her. There's loads of pictures of Aaron and the two of them together. They must be seeing each other again. Who ended it with who? You know, before? I don't know. But we know from what he's said that she's pretty vulnerable. She can't know, can she? You know, about what he's really like, about what he's capable of. What out it? We need to tell her. You know. Why don't we send her a private message telling her that her boyfriend's not this nice guy that she thinks he is? What do you think?
Hello. Coffee and a croissant, which came with a whole history lesson from Rye about how people think it originated from France when actually it originated from Austria. The croissant, not the coffee. Did you know that? Sorry, I'm off, Lynn. Actually, you look pretty rough. I'm fine. No. Ryan, you don't look good. I think we should see a doctor. It's just a cold. Sorry, is there a reason you're here? To check you're okay. Are you mad at me for some reason? Why would I possibly be mad at you? I don't know. If this is such a chore for you, Daisy, then you shouldn't come here, mate. All right, you know what? Do me a favor and don't come here again. Ryan? Hey, wh why are you being so... I heard so... what you said about me. To your fiance. Max, hope this isn't too weird. What am I saying? Of course, this is weird. I just didn't know how else to talk to you without causing you problems. Suppose I just wanted to say, if there's anything you want to talk about, anything that's worrying you, that you want to get out there, then maybe it'd help to record it on this phone. A bit like a journal, I suppose. Or you might just want to have a pop at me. I don't know. It's up to you. It's your story. I don't know what you think you heard. Don't. Ryan, it was stupid. I just... You know what I don't get? Is why? I mean, if you're so uninterested, so keen to ditch me. You keep coming round. <sighs> Unless it's just so you can ease your conscience or have some weird fascination with this. That's not fair. <sighs> I come because I want to help. Right, OK. So out of pity. Yeah. No, no, it's not pity. Are you sure about that? Don't twist everything. I'm not. That's what people do. To make yourself feel better. Believe me, I've been there. I come because I care. Because we're mates. No, we're not. We're not. We, we weren't before any of this happened, so... Let's just draw a line under it and we'll just call it a day, yeah? No hard feelings. That's ridiculous. I don't want to. Oh, well, you don't get to decide. Look, I only said what I said to Daniel because I didn't want him to feel... put out. Right, so from now on, there'll be nothing for either to worry about, will there? Ryan, Ryan please. No, just... just wish you hadn't lied. I come because I care about you, and that is not a lie. Just, I mean, just leave now, please. Go on. Ryan. Get out! Snap out of it. You'd have hated that job. You know you would. Long hours, responsibility. That is not the point. Actually, it pretty much is. The only thing you'd have liked was the extra money. Exactly. She has literally taken the food out of our mouth. Oh, what you got? Cheese and ham? Mm. Our Kirky used to love cheese and ham butters. With a dollar particularly and a square to mayo. Square to mayo? Oh, now that is posh. Oh, we here. Uh... I found it in the charity shop. Uh, Haley's coat? No. My perfect wedding dress. <gasps> oh, great. Now we're on to weddings, are we? I'm off to make a brew. Take no notice of that. Yeah, so what I was thinking, to make it more designer and, like, totally, 
hole or a fab. I was thinking maybe the quads could hold just a little bit of the train each. Oh, and definitely lower that neckline, because I mean, if you've got it, flaunt it, right? So when you said a few tiny alterations, I just want it to be totally amazeballs. I must be mad. Have you got the extra material? No. So what I was thinking is maybe you could find a few off cuts. Gemma, that'll be stealing. No, if no one wants it. I can't afford to lose this job. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No worries, I'll just go for another look around the charity shops. Hey, you could ask Roy and Evelyn to keep an eye out and all. Yeah, good idea. Are you sure you don't mind doing this? Because I know you've got a lot on. <laughs> It'll be fun. And anyway, we're practically family. Yeah, I suppose we are. I am so excited. Oh. Take my advice. Enjoy it while he's still looking at you with his big doughy eyes. Don't forget, revise, 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 because next time you're going to be going through some previous exam questions in preparation for the real thing. Just a few weeks left to go now, guys. Hey, Max. You can't talk to me. Just for a minute. You go home. You don't have to deal with that. I know, I know. Look, take this. Password's on the back. There's a video on it. Watch it. Go on. Go on. didn't exactly let the grass grow. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it's just that like you moved on to this Mia pretty quickly, that's all. It's not as though we didn't already know each other. No, I suppose not. Right, <coughs> you coming. But he said he wanted me to leave, so I left. But maybe I shouldn't have. Well, you don't sound like he gave you much choice. Yeah, but he's not well. And it's not good for him being on his own in that flat with no one checking in on him. Well, there's Crystal. She'll be texting him, I should think. You know, that'll put some colour in his cheeks. So don't worry, OK? Because whatever Ryan says, he's been a really good friend. Afternoon. Are you all right? Right, love. The thing is, I was in Roy's, mm -hmm. queuing for a bacon butty and a brew, and this chappy in front, I think he took a fancy to me. Really? No, no, it, it's just... I. I didn't have you down as a bacon buddy kind of girl. That's all. Carry on. Well, it was like you were reciting the whole of his Tinder bio. What, likes travelling and country walks, eh? Oh, mm. I wish. Oh. Yeah. No, it turns out he had a top 40 hit back in the 80s and he was rambling on and on about his hilarious life on the road. I said, I wasn't impressed when Rod Stewart asked me for the time outside Trafford Centre, so I'm not going to get all giggly over a one-hit wonder. Ooh, ouch! No, that's what I wanted to say. What I actually said was, I'm really sorry, I've got to go. I've got a chicken in the oven and did a runner. <laughs> so I would like a small glass of white wine, please, Jenny. Steady me nerves. Cool me up. Eh, wasn't it great seeing Ryan in here yesterday? Yeah, it was great. You're a good girl for taking care of him. It's important to have someone to talk to, isn't it? Especially when something like this happens. Yeah, it is. Excuse me. Well, maybe you could drop by and say hello. Believe me, I have tried twice. He keeps knocking me back. Third time lucky? Uh, I need to pop home. Well, hang, hang on a minute, Daisy. Well, what do you mean? Something to go with it? Like what? Pickle? Yeah, maybe a bit of salad. Sausage roll on its own doesn't seem that healthy, does it? There's no wrong with a beige buffet, lad. You know, add a few cocktail sausages, pork pie. You've got the holy trinity. Hey! What's she saying? Who? Hey. Is it? She's helping me with my wedding dress. Oh, really? What a star. Totally. But she did say something. I just don't want pain, does she? Oh, no, nothing like that. She said she's happy to help, what with us all being family. Well, we are kind of related, I suppose. Yeah. It made me feel guilty about not inviting Linda to the wedding. Yeah, only distantly, mind. Right, you were right about that pickle. I'm going to nick to Dev's. I mean, Izzy is being dead helpful, and Linda is a ma'am. And she's Joseph's grandma. 
She has been dead good lately. Whatever you want to do, Jem. Yeah. I think I'd like her there. It seems like the right thing to do. Mm. Agreed. Doing? Have you seen my spare phone? What? Uh, yeah, I gave it to Max. What? You said you didn't need it. It's just a spare, isn't it? It wasn't yours to give away. All right. Why are you getting so upset? You didn't even know where it was. I'm upset because you've given it to someone being detained by His Majesty. Someone who, given what happened the last time, you probably shouldn't be getting involved with. Where's this coming from? I'm worried about him. He needs to communicate with someone. He's vulnerable. Sorry, but I had to. Tell me you took the SIM card out. Daniel, you've got to get that phone back. Why? This way he doesn't have to bottle things up. He can talk about how no, he's You're not listening. It's got other people's numbers on it and he's where he is. And besides, after you reminded me about it, I actually sold it online. So if you have to have a phone, get Max a burner. All right, I'll get it back. I'll sort it, OK? If I stop, I'm not going to get this finished for a three o'clock pickup, am I? Right, OK, but if I stop, then realistically... See what, not... let's just cut to the chase. I'm the boss, so you're doing the coffee run. Rosal! Hey! Ooh. You right? You psychic or what? I wasn't me, I had a brought a bottle of bubbly. <laughs> what happened? He had a meeting with a solicitor about Nan's will. So? Everything's going to be split 50-50 between me and your Uncle Tony. But Nan didn't really have anything, did she? So we thought. Turns out the house is worth a small fortune. <laughs> She paid peanuts for it back in the day, and to be honest, it is a bit of a state, but... Whereabouts? Monton. Oh! Oh, oh a shed up that way is probably worth more than one of these. <laughs> I know, but she also had a pretty decent nest egg tucked away. We've locked out, kid. Good old Nan. <laughs> God bless the soul and that. Dad, that's amazing. Yeah, and believe you me, we're going to make the most of it. I made a pretty decent fist of ruining the first 19 years of your life. So I'm going to make sure the rest is the best it can be. We can travel. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> the world's our oyster. Come here. <laughs> hey, Crystal, it's me. Can you give me a call? Just. Just for a chat. Just the thing is, I'm, I'm not feeling that great, and I just need. So can you just give me a call? Just call me, all right? Please. Is Ryan? Come on, you'll be seeing me again before you've even had time to miss me. Although you are allowed to miss me, like, a tiny bit. I want to come with you. Oh, Rubes. Look at Mum's got to go and earn loads of money for us. Oh, no flies on that one, eh? Are you sure you're going to be able to cope? I'm not quite ready for the knackers yard, thank you very much. I know you're not. I'm just saying... We that... will, I think, survive, so just stop fretting. Either you've packed the kitchen sink in there or he needs weight training lessons while you're away. Are we ready? Yeah, as I'll ever be. You can't get our new lodger in the back with it, can you? No, shh, he'll hear you. Oh, I can only hope. Come on, you two, give your man a kiss. Mm. Oh. Come here. I love you too. Mwah. Right, we should get going. You don't want to miss your train? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will ring you later, yeah? Thank you. They'll be fine. Hey, you know what I'll like? She'll miss you. We all will. We'll miss you like mad. If there's anything you want to talk about, anything that's worrying you, that you want to get out there, then maybe it'd help to record it on this phone. Oh, my days, you are kidding me. What? Mate, don't be an idiot, I've just seen it. OK, look, you, you can't say anything. 
Stop stressing. Show us. You little beauty! All right, OK, just stop mucking about, give it back. Not a chance. What's yours is mine, right? I mean it. Hand it over. First, tell me where you got it from. I was sure that there was an old one in that box in the bottom of the wardrobe. That got recycled. Right. I'll get it back. I promise. It's dangerous. David was worried sick about his son. I'm a dad. I felt like I had to do something. Don't worry about the SIM card. Max won't risk using it. The point of Max having the phone... Max and this phone is not the only things that I've got to worry about. OK. It's Ryan. He overheard what we... what I said yesterday. And now he doesn't want to see me. Ah. Oh. I'm supposed to be his friend. I'm sure that deep down he knows that. Got a lot of stuff that he needs to work through. You know, it, it might not be a bad idea if you gave him a bit of space. Just give me the phone. How'd you get it? Come on, tell us. It's Osborne's. Is it? Why have you got it? It's a spare. Why's Osborne got two phones? I don't know and I don't care. You obviously do, otherwise you wouldn't want to pack so bad. It's so that I can film a journal. What's your problem? I'd just like to know what's going on around here. Right, OK, just, just give it back. Of course. Gonna give my girlfriend a call on it first, though. All right. Cheers. Hang on, there's a voicemail. Right, just leave... Mr. Stall, it's me. Can you give me a call? Just... Just for a chat. Who's this, then? Just the thing is... I'm... No idea. Come on, just... I'm not feeling give like it. great, um... Just... What's Deb trying to get you to shift today, then? I wouldn't even insult your intelligence. No, go on, tell me. I'd like to know. Dev's Kiev's. <laughs> or Deve's Kiev's, I suppose it would be now. Funny. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, there you go, then. Two for you. No, what? No, <laughs> sorry. I never said I wanted them. Ah, oh, no, the thing is, you see, you can't buy those unless you buy these. Since when? Since uh, Dev lumbered me with sales targets. I'm being done here. Yes, you are. But walk out quickly and I won't say anything about it. This is a joke. Hiya. Oh, don't go hiring me. I've got a bone to pick with a pair of you. Why'd you have to invite my mum to the wedding? We thought it'd be nice for Joseph. All oh, right, so no one considered me in this situation. You are. Well, she's coming on Monday and she wants to stay with me until the wedding. We well, you thought you'd be pleased. Pleased? Well, I, I love me mum and all that, but I'm not sure I've got two weeks' worth of love in me. Gav! Oh. You phoned me for? Come on, you know why? Let me have one more try. She might answer this. Oh, thing. Gav, just give me the phone. You're well boring. Do you know that? You're not supposed to be in here. Where's your next lesson? All right, chill. I was in a bad mood, isn't he? Probably not getting any. Pretty sure I'm getting more than you, Gav. That's not very nice, is it? Out. Now. Thank you. There's a voicemail on there. I think it's from Ryan. What? 
day. He didn't sound very well. I don't understand. Just, just give it a listen. All right, give it another go. Yay! Yay! Hey! Look at that. Another success for the dream team. Celebrate Brew. Yes, please. Well, there was me thinking my day couldn't get any better. I, uh... What are you doing here? Just passing. Well, I've got good news. Oh? So my dad's inherited some money off my nan. Oh. And he wants to treat us to a holiday. What do you reckon? Yeah, great. What's the matter? Someone sent me this. Amy Barlow is Summer's best friend. Okay. Summer's probably jealous. Got Amy to send you that. Well, it's made me feel dead uncomfortable. Hey, look, there's nothing to worry about. I promise. Hey, Mum. Fab four, all right? Oh yeah, they're all great. Yeah, look, I made you a picture. Oh, Chesney. Well, don't be getting any ideas, cos Cesar ain't never gonna catch on. Alla did it. All right. Well, in that case, it's a blooming masterpiece. <laughs> Shall I go and get Joseph from Futter? Oh, no, you don't want to be doing that. You've had a long shift. Yeah, why don't you sit down? I'll make you a brew if you want. Yeah. Right, what's going on? Cos my spidey senses are going ten to the dozen here. What? Linda's going to be coming to the wedding. I beg your pardon? It's for Joseph more than anything. Me and Gemma have got that much to organise. Yeah, she can look after him. You know, while you're out with this lot. Right, so you three have got it all planned to perfection, haven't you? Mum, it's not like that. And to be fair to Linda, she has been dead good lately. Has she? Isn't that nice? Mum. Well, it's what you've always dreamed of, isn't it, Gemma and I? A stuffy nose, power dressing, snob on a gob, coming along and ruining your big day. Should we just hug it out? No! I'm going upstairs to wax me tash and I am that fuming, I probably won't feel a thing. What's your problem? Nothing. Or you just threw a rubber at my head, so... I don't think so, do you? No. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Hmm? So you BFF? What? Osborne. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, you're just idiots. Yeah. Harry. Yeah. Well, we're not one having cozy little chats to the teachers, are we? <laughs> What's this? Nothing. Good. Take a seat now, lads. Huh? Afternoon, gents. Daniel. Daniel, just calm down. Hey, Crystal's... It's all complicated and I'll explain later, all right, but I'm trying to make sure that Ryan is literally alive. All right, I'll let you know. Ryan! Ryan, please let me know that you're okay. Ryan, come hey, on! What's going on? Debbie, Debbie, I think he's in there and I think he's really unwell. Ryan, I'll go and get the spare key. All right, well, hurry! Come on, Ryan, please talk to me. Oh, this is so boring. Shame. Now, do you want one Dev Kev or two? What's the dev Kiev? Well, I reckon we'll find out in a couple of minutes. I'm so much better than this. What have you even got to do? Got to write a rubbish poem inspired by the broken art characters in Romeo and Juliet. I could owe you with that. No, it's, it's just fine. She, she'll, she'll think of something, won't you, Hope? What you got, Kirk? Herb, love sucks. I feel like a duck <laughs> hit by a truck. Your fault, this is. Beth broke my heart. Make it stop. That doesn't rhyme. <clears throat> it will in time. Now, you know what? I think you should write down every last word and take it round to Beth. I think that would be lovely for everyone. If you left. Here you are, Kirk. Have a piece of paper. Oh, cheers. You could do a practice performance for us all later. No, we couldn't. Great idea. 
All right. Yeah, yeah, peachy. I'm doing some poetry. Of course you are. Is Mummy OK? Yeah, she's fine. Uh, she's going to video call us later. I miss her. Me too. Do you want to write a poem about it at all? No, he doesn't. Thank you. Really, yeah. No problem. No, really, I, I do appreciate it. I appreciate what you're doing for me with the phone. Yeah. Uh, Gav. Yes, mate. I gave the phone back to Osborne. Why? The fellow on the voicemail, he sounded really ill and... But I know Osborne wants me to film another journal, so I'm sure I'll get hold of it again soon and you'll be the first to know what I do, OK? I promise. I am sorry. It's fine. Did you miss it then, your girlfriend? I said it's fine. I still got your back, yeah? Ryan! Hey! Hey! Can you hear me? Wake up! Hello! Uh, ambulance, please. Debbie, he's freezing cold. Can you wake up? Can you wake up? Can you hear me, Ryan? Are you alright? Yes. You're going to be alright. This is ridiculous. I'm going to see if I can find a doctor. Hey, what's happening? Your guess is as good as mine. We were told to wait here. They rushed off their feet. I don't know what she expects. So? Yeah. Sepsis! They think he's got sepsis. You can help him, can't you? Are you all with Mr Connor? Yeah, we're his friends. I brought him in. Well, I've given him IV antibiotics and IV fluids to bring his blood pressure up. And then he'll feel better? I'm also weighing on blood results. And I put a call into the surgeon as I'm concerned about his skin graft. Why? It's severely infected. And if his blood pressure doesn't pick up, then I'll need to speak to ITU. Can we see him? Yes, of course. He's just through here on the right. But maybe one or two of you at time there for now. Yeah, OK. Thank you. We'll keep a close eye. Right. This is all my fault. Hey, no, it isn't. None of us could see this coming. Why don't you go see him first? Yeah, OK. <laughs> oh, and is Nana behaving as well? What do you think? I think she's Nana. Exactly. Where is she? She's reading her book in her room. She said she needed some peace and quiet. Hey, you two have not been playing up, have you? No, just Kurt. Oh. <laughs> she sent him to the pub. She frog marched him out of here. Right. You all right, Hope, sweetheart? You look ever so tired. Yeah, they're both a bit tired, so they'll be getting an early night. They've had the tea. Hope's done her homework. What's your place like? Oh, it's very nice. Hey, I've got a lovely power shower. I've got nice fields that I can look out on here. And I've got one of them big posh tellies. <laughs> cool. You are coming back, aren't you? Of course I am, sweetheart. Hey, come here, you lot. Come in. Should we have a virtual hug? Hey? Hey? <laughs> I love you so much. We love, love you. you. Now, Ty, don't forget, you need to do Ruby's spellings with her, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, do I have to? Uh, yes, you do. Oh, and don't forget, Hope's got Victorian Day tomorrow, yeah? She's got a dress of someone inspirational. Have you sorted her costume out? Um, I don't think he's even looked at my designs. Designs? I'm going as Mary Shelley. Oh. She wrote Frankenstein. Yeah, of course she did. I need a black dress and two monster heads sticking out my shoulders. Oh, well, I'm sure that'll be no problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, that all sounds great, Hope. Oh. Right, I'm gonna go. I think I'm going to have a nice long soak in my bath and I might order myself a takeaway and watch a film. I love you all. Love you. I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Here you go, Dad. So you've stepped in with this weird catfishing? It's not weird. OK, it's a little bit weird, but crystal. Fake crystal, you mean? Yeah, fake crystal. Crystal is the one that Ryan's opening up to. 
She's the one that is keeping him going, and if he hadn't called her and left a message, he could have died. This is so messed up. I know. But it's the truth. Don't you feel creepy? Guilty? Yeah, I feel all those things, but I'm doing this to help Ryan. I think you need to stop this. It's not that easy. I'm sorry, but this feels like you're cheating. No. No, it's, it's not me. It's Crystal. And <laughs> That is the strangest take on that cliché I have ever heard. Look, look at the messages. There's nothing dodgy. I don't want to. Please, look at it. I don't want to. How long were you going to keep this up for? I don't know. Not long, just... just until he was more settled. And you didn't want to think to tell me? You've had a lot going on. I thought it would be over soon and just... Better if you didn't know. So you were, you were gonna keep lying. That's why you were so stressed out about the phone. It's not lying, lying. It it's... is. That's exactly what it is. You're not gonna tell Ryan, are you? No. But this isn't right. You know that, don't you? I've really gotta go. How is he? How come you knew what state he was in? I didn't. I thought he had the flu yesterday, so... I was just checking in on him. Well, it's a good job she was in the right place at the right time, eh, Rai? You're very lucky. I know it's not achieving anything, but I can't help it. Mm. They're not even good photos anyway. Half the time she's cut off her chin or something. You've been looking as well then? Yeah. But then I had a word with myself. Why can't she just reply? I mean, she's read it. Should I message her again? Well, give her a chance, Ames. She has just got a message out of nowhere warning her about her boyfriend. Yeah. yeah you're probably right. Right, I'll refresh it one more time, and then I'll leave it. What's this? What's the matter? A page, it won't load. She's blocked me. What? No. How am I supposed to warn her now? Ah, <sighs> oh, that's me after my bed. Don't leave them pots and pans dirty. Right, I'll sort them. No, I mean it, because if the food dries, it sticks. Right, I'll do them. I'm not your mother, and I'm not your wife. I know. I cook the whole dinner. And I said thank you. Just don't get used to it, all right? Well, you couldn't help us with this, could you? I could, but I'm choosing not to. Oh, well, thanks a bunch. Look, she's gonna need, like, a Victorian-style dress and everything. Why are you looking at me? Well, you was around back then, weren't you? Oh, the cheek of it. <gasps> and here's me remembering something suitable in the charity shop. Really? Mm. And I was going to get it first thing in the morning. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. But now I've made an appointment to get my eyebrows threaded instead. Yeah, so. very helpful, that. Good night. Go on, then. I'll pick up the dress. Thank you. Your boat's gone a bit droopy, hasn't it? Where have you been? I stayed with Debbie and Ryan till they chucked us out. It's late. I know. I'm sorry. How is he? Same, really. Doctors will be doing their rounds in the morning. What about you? 
What about me? Are you all right? You tell me. I've been looking through these messages. Right. It's mostly reality TV, with a bit of a beat or a DJ and talk thrown in. Pretty much. You're just being a friend to him. It's exactly like I told you, and it's not forever. It's just until he's stronger. And how will you know when that is? I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to sort this out for you. You should be in bed. I can't sleep. Come on, back upstairs. I miss Mum. Oh, love. I miss her hugs. That was good. It'll do. <laughs> Can I go on my tablet for a bit? Uh, no, it's a bit late. It'll keep my mind off, Mum. Right, OK. Five minutes, though. OK. Again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Soon enough, Crystal will just fade away. Ryan is nothing more than a friend to me. I love you. You do know that, don't you? I love you too. I'm going to go to bed. OK. Oh. I'll see you in there. I won't be long. Hey, Crystal. Um, sorry about the voice note. I just thought it'd be best if I say this in person. Not in, not in person, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, maybe this is the infection talking, but I almost died today. That sounds intense now, I've said it out loud. Um, anyway, it's made me realise something. I know this might be fast, or it probably sounds ridiculous, but basically, I think... I think I'm falling in love with you. If you have been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode, you can go to itv.com slash advice for support information. Stay with us here on ITV1 as I'm a Celebrity South Africa is here next.